Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game unboxing. This video is sponsored by The Game Crafter. Today's video, we're going to be unboxing Planet Fulcrum in this four video series. The first one being the unboxing, then the setup, then a walkthrough slash playthrough, and finally my review of the game. This is Planet Fulcrum, and it plays in about an hour, up to four players, and it's for ages 12 and up. This is the box you'll be getting in the game with the front and the back here. Oh, it also plays one player here as well. A mysterious world, the promise of power untold. Survive, control, and dominate. This game is an area control style game. Let's go ahead and open it up. So here we go. This is the box of the game. It's going to have the rule book full color with all the fixings explains everything here with uh, the back here. And then you're also going to be getting a bunch of tokens and some characters. And we'll go ahead and open all of this stuff up and show you. These are all the different decks of cards for the different players, as well as a deck of cards and the board. And it looks like player boards here as well. Let's go ahead and look at all this individually. So first of all, we have the four player boards here. These are the four player boards and the back. So it's actually got the characters. It has a little bit of explanation as to the type of character they are and all the little interesting aspects of the character. And then here it's going to have the different factions, whether you're a guardian, a nomad, or an overlord, and then the types of actions you can take in the game. There's four of them, one for each player. This is the board for the game. Let's go ahead and open her up. There we go. And these are the five areas of the game that you're trying to control. And each of these areas are going to have different tokens, which we'll talk about during the setup. But these are some of the tokens you'll be getting in the game. So let's go ahead and look at them. All right, first of all, there are these area control markers here. They have a both front and back to them. Additionally, you're going to have these little rings here which you're going to put on your player board. So this is a player board, and you're going to start like this. But these are where those rings go, and these rings are four for each player. You're also going to be getting cubes. These guys here, which are going to be used to gather areas and level your characters up. There's cubes for each colored area for two bags. And then additional tokens that are faction tokens, depending on the faction you are and the areas you control, you'll be using different tokens, whether they be black or purple, or sorry, whether they be purple, red, or blue. And these are them right here. And then we also have these characters here. The characters are the little uh, paper cut cardboard stand, paper cut standees, basically. You'll be punching these guys all out. And then you'll be taking them and putting them in these little areas, in these little things here. And they actually stand up really nicely. And you can place them on the board. And it has four of them, one for each player for the different starting areas. And the starting areas on the board are actually over here. They say begin. And it looks like you actually get double. I think you actually get two, one for, two for each character. Then let's look at the decks. So there are the different decks in the game for each player. Each player is going to get these. And these are basically your levels for the different things, the different stats in the game. Whether you have uh, Resilience here, which allows you to increase your defense. Uh, there's Strength that gives you bonus to attack. Intelligence, which will give you bonuses to Meteor cards. You'll be able to draw these Meteor cards and have a certain amount in your hand based on this level here. There's the Speed, which allows you to move throughout the game. And then, of course, you also have Energy, which is how many energy you can store to gather locations and all that other good stuff. Each player is going to get a set of cards. So just like this, you're going to have to put these all up in color, in order, and you're going to be putting them in front of you with your player board. These are the Meteor cards, the final things you'll be getting. They have sets here, which will allow you to gather certain cubes to basically gather areas on the board. And then there are attack and defense cards of different colors, which will allow you to increase your attack or defense value when dealing with opponents to fight them for certain areas, as well as control of the board. And that's pretty much what you're going to get in the game Planet Fulcrum, everything included here all on the Game Crafter. If you're interested in checking it out already, go ahead and look at the link in the description below, and you can go ahead and pick up the game Planet Fulcrum yourself. 
thanks for watching and I look forward to on the next video showing you the setup for the game and then we'll do the playthrough and then of course we will tell you what I think about the game and you can go ahead and pick it up in any of these videos sponsored by the Thick Game Crafter. All right guys, I look forward to seeing you guys next time.